The developer who planned to tear down the Essen House and some of the other buildings on East Wilson Street has backed out of the project. Amanda Quintana is live with the details and what's next for Essen House. Amanda? Yes, well, this building where Essen House is was built in 1865, making this area here a historic district. Now, when it comes to new developers coming in, that can actually make things more complicated. Essen House will be here. We're open tonight, tomorrow night, 4th of July night. So we'll be here for as long as we know. We've been here 37 years, a few more years until we develop. Despite the latest developer pulling his bid to turn the block where Essen House sits into an apartment complex and commercial space called the East End, longtime owner Bob Worm is confident development will happen eventually. Oh, I'm not defeated at all. In fact, I'm more positive than ever just because the neighborhood and the city has been very positive. Developing on this area has its challenges, including meeting the city's standards for a historic district. This is the heart of uh, the first settlement district, which, as the name implies, was the first permanent settlement in Madison. People came over the water, and they walked up King Street, and they walked up the Blair Street, and they created Madison. Stu Levitin, chair of the city's Landmarks Commission, says part of East Wilson is also a national historic district, making developing here even more complicated. Still, people have been trying for about 10 years for this latest project, it just didn't work out. But then the design, the, the mass of the building, the uh, rhythm of the solids and voids, how it affected the Germania over on, on Franklin Street, and how it affected some of the other buildings on Blair Street. We clearly indicated that we had some concerns so that the, the developer... Worm was happy with the plan. The buildings are getting older and they need to be revamped. But understands it didn't fit everybody's needs. So as he waits for a project that does, he's open to change, whether that means his popular bar is demolished or preserved. The passion of the person doing the development, if he wants to keep some of these buildings or if he wants to demolish them and start over. So it depends upon what we can all work together with. Levitan tells me that this neighborhood is really in need of additional housing. So when they do find a developer that can fit all those important standards in, there will be development here. Amanda, thank you.